Hi, I'm Amber Copeland. I'm body awareness coach for ballroom dancers. Today I'm going to be teaching you why pulling down your shoulders or pulling down your lats is a big no-no. So now it's not wrong that your shoulders need to stay down while you're dancing. What is hmm, slightly incorrect is how we go about often telling dancers how to get there. What happens is that when you pull down your shoulders, you stiffen your back. Now, it's not that you're not going to use any muscles at all when you do this, but we want to make sure that we're using the right muscles. Now again, I don't want to get really specific into you're going to use this muscle here and this muscle here and whatever, because really what I want you to start to be able to do is think less when you're dancing, right? So we really want to try to boil it down to one thing that connects everything else. So if you do have to think, you only have to think about one thing. So I want you to find there's like a little divot in uh, on top of your sternum, right? So on top of your rib cage. So there's this little hole here and then two big points. Some are more prominent than others but everybody has them, <laughs> so you should be able to find them. Just dig a little bit deeper if you have to. Okay, we're gonna take one of those, right? So I want you to take that point, and then I want you to, to walk your fingers along the bone, right? And you're gonna notice that it's, it's a little bit like a bar. Technically, it's like an S shape, um, but we're not gonna worry about that today. So we're just gonna, we're just gonna walk along and, and find its end point, which you're going to find is at the end of the shoulder, right? And you actually might not be able to really feel it as well as you felt this endpoint, okay? Because this endpoint is not as prominent, and it's uh, and it's fairly well stuck to the acromion process, which is a little bone that is part of the big shoulder blade in the back. So, all right, so we've got our clavicle bone. Now, why is this important when trying to keep your shoulders down. If I move my clavicle bone, the shoulder blade must move. It's attached. When you lift your arms, what we're looking for is a clavicle bone that is horizontal to the floor. All right, so we want to make sure that the end point isn't higher than the middle point. We also don't want the middle point raised either. So either raised and in line or horizontal with the end point or raised with the end point raised even more, right? So this is when the shoulders are really in the ears, right? And this is when we've got a lot of tension, this kind of tends to happen. So what we're gonna do first is I want you to go back to this big point here, right? Put your finger on it. And then we're going to lift this end point. So we're gonna take our shoulder up. So your arm is gonna go up with it, right? And I want you to really try to keep this point down. So relax your neck muscles as much as you can and then bring the end point back down again. I want you to bring this middle point up. So you're gonna to try to lift your chest, right? You can keep this horizontal, you can bring it up a little bit, that's not a big deal. I just want you to feel what it feels like when you lift this chest and you're gonna see all my neck muscles engage, right? So now we're gonna relax this, and we're gonna let, let the bone just sit on top of the rib cage. Put your finger on this point again, right? You can even have your hand on your chest to make sure that it doesn't go up, so try to relax it. I want you to take your arm out to the side. Now I know you can't see half of my arm. That's okay, it's just straight. So I just want you to lift it as far as you can without this point going up. Now you're gonna notice that there's a certain point that you can't go any further. If you do lift it, you have to lift this point here. We don't want that, right? So now, what's the trick? How can you keep your frame? How can you have your, your, your arms above that point? Okay, so what you wanna do is you wanna lift to that point. Good. Now you're going to roll your shoulder back. Now I don't mean press it down. I just mean gently roll it back so you're gonna feel the clavicle kind of roll. And you're also gonna feel the shoulder blade glide down the back of your rib cage. And I say glide, not pull, push, strain, glide, right? Okay, good. So now you're gonna notice that I now have a nice long neckline. You'll notice that none of these neck muscles are engaged. 
There's a little bit of engagement in the deltoid. There's some engagement in the back, but not over engagement, right? And if I had somebody to come in here and press down on my arm, you'd be surprised that my arm, as hard as they push on it, won't go down, right? It's connected through the back. It's using the correct muscles, the correct alignment of the bones to get this position, right? Which is fantastic for standard and smooth frames, for ladies and men alike. Because from this position, I can just, from my elbow, adjust my hand as much as I want so I can bring it forward. If I'm taking the lady's back, I can take it up if I'm taking the man's hand, right? So I'm gonna bring the arm down again. Let's get that a one more try. All right, so placing your finger here, and if you have long fingers, you can even do this, you know, to check yourself. But for now, let's put it here. Okay, so the arm goes up to that point where I can't go any higher unless I bring this up. And then I'm gonna roll my shoulder back slightly and you're gonna find that you can lift your arm higher. Now, you're probably asking, yeah, but what if I wanna go higher than my shoulder? That's when we allow this point to come up, but we don't let this point come up, right? So now the arm, the bones are in the right position that I can still stay relaxed through here and be able to bring my arm up, have all of the right muscles working, have all of the right alignment, okay? What we don't want is we don't want to bring this up with our arms, right? And then we look kind of stuck and stiff. Today was all about the clavicle and its movement and how it will help us, how it helps us keep the shoulders down, keep a nice relaxed neck, and yet be able to stay connected in our arms in whatever position we take, whether it's above the head or in line with the shoulder. So I hope this helped you out. I would love to receive your comments. Go down below and please leave any questions, comments that you have, and uh, I'll address them in upcoming videos. Thanks a lot. Happy dancing.